Well, that's where we find four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco. And Stephanie, you've been there all morning long, kind of overnight into the morning. You've been speaking with people who are there. Is there anybody left in the shelter or has everybody gone home? Well, Chris, this place has really emptied out. All that's left is people from Red Cross who are volunteers. They're actually from Lee County, believe it or not, who are out here helping out. They were out here for hours. Um, right now, they're just tearing down, cleaning up, doing all the necessary steps to just really evacuate the school. And so we're pretty much the only crew out here other than uh, the volunteers here. Now, I did speak to one of the Red Cross volunteers, and she told me that she's prepping for uh, after, you know, uh, the assessment of, of the state to see where are the really affected areas. So while their work is being is completed here, their work is just beginning because they're going to be looking for other opportunities to lend a hand and just really help out uh, with the Red Cross. So just to give you a little recap of what Bob and I have been experiencing this morning, uh, you know, right now the winds aren't as bad. It's just a little gust here and there. But earlier today, it was really strong. At one point, I had my uh, wind jacket on. But as you can see, I don't need it right now. Um, Bob had to hold on to the light because it was kind of flying forward a little bit, but it wasn't too extreme. And that was the good news because people here in Clouston were really afraid that the effects of prior storms would be the same this time around. And thankfully, that was not the case. Another big concern were mobile homes. A lot of people in this area live in mobile homes. And so they were afraid that if it was really catastrophic or very intense, that they would go home and find, you know, their homes in shambles. So thankfully, that is not the case this morning. We are experiencing a lot of wind, as you can tell, and probably hear back there in the studio. But all is well here. Earlier, there were a few deputies, you know, just securing the area, making sure that everyone is safe and really bringing that a sense of security to this community after what they've experienced with Wilma. So right now we're just hanging out, making sure that all is clear. Um, they are expected to be done within the next hour. So we'll hang out here till they're finished and probably grab some coffee after that. But right now we're reporting live in Clewiston. Uh, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner. Great, Stephanie. Thank you. And you know, she's been giving us more positive stories this morning too, just showing how the community comes together, finding even these bonding moments while they're in the shelter there from people who have been through something similar before. So good to hear from Stephanie.